Cuban crocodiles are a unique species, only occurs in Cuba. They are also a national symbol of Cuban uh, identity. You cannot find the species anywhere else in the world. There are about 3,000 Cuban crocodiles in the wild and they live in a small area within the Zapata Peninsula in the southern part of the Zapata Swamp. This small population and restricted range puts them even more at threat of extinction. We're working to support the Zapata captive breeding facility to have individuals that are suitable for reintroduction. Right now we have almost 4,200 crocs different age, different size. It's very important to know the biology of this species. And you can use this knowledge for uh, development, management plan about the Cuban crocs in the wild. WCS work in Cuba started with the late John Torbian Erson going to the island and connecting with the researchers in Cuba uh, trying to study and protect crocodiles. John Torbian Erson or John T or Juan Caiman in Spanish as he was baptized in Cuba uh, make a difference for crocodile conservation in Cuba by becoming a, a brother for all Cuban researchers. Y él, después del año alrededor del 91 en adelante que conozco un representante de, de la eh, Wildlife Conservation Society, eh, John, que nos le decimos Juan Caimán, que ya murió y ya falleció, fueron los primeros contactos que tuvimos en cuanto al cocodrilo. En cuanto al cocodrilo cubano, esta relación con, con Juan Caimán, John, eh, nos benefició primero sus conocimientos eh, y además nos apoyó en algunos estudios de, de, del cocodrilo cubano. John, well, he left a strong uh, message for the protection of crocodiles and uh, is remembered every time in the field and is uh, very much missed in Cuba for the crocodile community. Despite John's untimely passing, WCS continues to support this work and the fifth annual Cuban Crocodile Workshop mark a milestone with the release of 10 purebred individuals. No tenemos eh, ningún derecho sobre si existe o no una especie. Por tanto, para nosotros es extremadamente importante que se cumpla ese propósito natural de que tienen que vivir porque sencillamente son seres vivos. We are also supporting research of Cuban crocodiles in the wild. We need an update to know how many are there and uh, what are the threats in the habitat. We are in Las Salinas de Brito. As you can see, the environment is perfect for the crocodiles. From time to time we use these expeditions out to the wild to monitor them. And also the invasive species we are keeping an eye on them. Because the population of Cuban crocodiles is so small, if you lose that population, the species is gone. So reintroduction efforts are aimed to create a, a place where you have a second population of Cuban crocodiles to support the, the species as a whole, but also to provide another population in case something happens. Our plans going forward with the species are one, to continue to work with the uh, AZA's SSP program, the Species Survival Plan for Cuban crocodiles. One of the big challenges facing Cuban crocodiles right now is the hybridization between Cuban and American crocodiles. So by maintaining this population that uh, has been monitored for years uh, is a great assurance colony if there ever comes a time that Cuban crocodiles need to be sent back to Cuba. These animals are very smart. Cubans are proud to have Cuban crocodiles in their country. So it's fun to, to learn from their behavior and it's inspiring to see a, an animal that can make such a difference in the habitat where they live. <laughs> <laughs>